Hello YouTube Model Railroaders. Today I'm going to be reviewing and running the MTH Premier Line Norfolk Southern GP35 high nose diesel locomotive. Uh, this engine was released uh, from MTH right around the 10th of August. I've been wanting to do a video of it and I just haven't had a chance. Uh, anyway, there was uh, four engines released in this uh, set of diesels. Uh, you can get them in uh, Union Pacific, Redding, Atlantic Coastline, and the Norfolk Southern. Uh, my pick of the bunch is the Norfolk Southern because it's a uh, high nose diesel where the other three are low nose. This one just has some unique features and uh, overall I just think it's a nicer looking engine. Uh, this engine comes equipped with uh, uh, MTH's Protoson 2.0. The 3.0 still isn't out yet. I'm told it'll be coming soon sometime in the fall. But uh, this is a great great engine. Uh, engine has all kind of nice features that has like I said the Protoson 2.0 great sounding horn, great sounding bell, fantastic smoke unit uh, has the operating headlights front and rear, uh, operating uh, lighted number boards front and rear, the illuminated uh, cab interior with the engineer and the conductor figure. Uh, it also has the illuminated uh, running lights, the green on the nose and the red on the tail which I think are really nice. Uh, has lots of detailed, uh, separately applied details to it. Has the spinning roof fans on the exhaust vents on the roof. Has the metal mesh uh, screening on the air intakes on the side of the diesel. Uh, separately applied brass horn. Separately applied bell that's a high hung bell that's over the nose of the diesel. Uh, this engine has uh, proto couplers front and rear has separately applied handrails on the front and rear of the engine. Uh, also some very nice hand painted detailing on uh, both sides of the fuel tank. And uh, they also come with all kind of warning placards. Uh, also has the builder's plate uh, directly below the cab of the diesel on the front. Highly detailed trucks. Uh, the paint job on this engine is, uh, is flawless. That's one thing I say about MTH. They do a nice paint job and also their paint jobs are exactly like you'll see in the real engines and the numbers are usually modeled after an actual number that was in a railroad and one thing else about this engine that's kind of unique uh, the number under the cab uh, well like I said this is an actual number but it was originally purchased by the Southern Railroad and that, that's what the letters SOU stand for under the number board there uh, when Norfolk uh, Western and the Southern Railroad first merged for a while, whichever railroad originally bought the engine, they had the abbreviations either NW or SOU for Southern. Uh, I don't know why they did this. I'm thinking maybe it could be something for maintenance log, uh, but I'm not sure. But um, anyway, this is a great engine. And uh, a couple other little features I noticed that this engine also has. It has the swing out... Uh, rear view mirrors on either side of the engine and uh, it, like I said it's just a great engine and it also has the non-slip uh, walkway around the engine the metal mesh steps and uh, just if you buy this engine you'll be uh, very uh, pleased with it I'm sure and also what I have this engine pulling today being this is the opening weekend for NFL football my favorite passion uh, I have this engine pulling some uh, MTH Premier Line 50 foot uh, double door uh, NFL box cars. Um, these were originally released in 2005 uh, from MTH and uh, they actually only made eight Premier box cars. Originally they had plans on doing all 32 NFL teams and they were also going to make a red, white, and blue SD40 uh, diesel with the NFL Shield and also a red, white, and blue bay window caboose, but uh, for some reason, MTH decided to stop the program. I, I know they still have an NFL license, but about the only two teams that they make stuff for yet are the Steelers, which is fine with me because I'm a huge Steeler fan, and the Packers. And I think they still do some stuff for the Patriots. But uh, I know I've uh, told M MTH quite a few times I'd like to see them finish this series. I know it would be a long set of cars that probably no one could really run with 32 cars, but it would be a nice display piece if you decide to put it in a display case. But uh, anyway, uh, let me go ahead and run this engine. And uh, as always, I appreciate you watching it, uh, this video. And if uh, you have any feedback, uh, please get back with me. So uh, let me go ahead and run this for you.
Well, thanks for watching my video. As always, I appreciate it. Like I said, if uh, you have any feedback, please get back with me. Uh, I'll be posting another video soon. Not sure what it'll be, but uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot.